after weeks of overindulgence, doing too much, and burning out, today is a day for self-care. A day to recharge, refocus, and gently prepare for the week ahead. Recently, I've enjoyed taking a day to myself. No plans, no phone, no obligations. A day to reflect and regain focus. To go over my goals, see what's working, what's not. Look at my budget, clean, and cook. After a long week of work, to-do lists, and being the most productive I can be, the home is often left in disarray. I am someone who is deeply distracted by my surroundings. And even though I don't necessarily want to spend my self-care day cleaning, I know that the only way I can truly relax is in a clean space. So I do laundry, tidy up, make the bed, and I try to enjoy the fact that I have time to move a bit slower, being mindful as I move through each space. It's a day where my relationship with time changes. When my regular routines slow down, I focus less on the clock and more on the feeling of readiness to finish something and start something new. Moving away from a super structured meal plan and focusing on preparing ingredients that are easy to use throughout the week. I really focus on keeping my home a clean eating space, not allowing pop or juice, processed meats, candy, or high fat salty meals. I just found that if I bought instant ramen, triscuits and cheese, which I love, I would be choosing these salty high fat meals over more nutritious ones. But by doing this, I need to make healthy alternatives equally as easy so that we avoid eating out. journaling and my weekly budget this is probably my favorite part of the day i sip warm tea pick up my journal and just let my mind empty onto the page writing down anything and everything big or small that i did feel want to do there are no rules to this brain dump i just write until there's nothing left to write it doesn't need to make sense or be chronological it's just an uncritical expression of thoughts and ideas It's a refreshing contrast to my daily bullet journaling that I do. It may take five minutes or 45. I just write until there's nothing left to say.
finances have their way of getting away from us from time to time. So lately, I've been sitting down with my laptop and going through all of my spending for the week. I use this template from the Hundreds Club that I purchased on Etsy. There will be a link in the description. I open up my credit card information and add each and every transaction to the Google Sheets. All of my bills are paid automatically on the 2nd and the 16th, so these are strictly non-bill transactions. I categorize them according to our spending categories and pay everything off at the end. A lot can happen in a month. We could easily spend thousands of dollars and have no idea where that money went. So I found that by doing this once a week, it allowed for greater awareness and I was able to stay closer to my budget. Yoga Nidra, NSDR, non-sleep deep relaxation. Yoga Nidra is a form of NSDR that transitions the body into a deep form of relaxation that can have a positive effect on energy levels. Find a comfortable space, grab a pillow to support your neck, knees, cover yourself with a blanket so there's no need to move when started. I use a guided Yoga Nidra off the Allo Moves app, but there are many free ones available. I just finished Yoga Nidra. I was feeling so tired before I did it and now I feel like I have a little bit more energy. So I am going to put on some warmer clothes and head outside and just go for a little walk. I am someone that is happy to stay home all day, especially when it's cold outside. But I recognize the benefits of getting outside and getting fresh air. So I bundle up and head out to the trails for an hour. to come for a little walk in my neighborhood. I haven't really walked the neighborhood since the fire. My structured journal. I started out bullet journaling years and years ago. I used to do elaborate spreads, monthly trackers, to-do lists, but most of this has been replaced with my notion. But I do still like writing a small summary of the day in the evenings. There's something about pen to paper that I just love. I find it calming and it forces me to think back and reflect on the day. Now I keep my bullet journal very minimal. I have one journal for each half of the year and I like to set it all up in advance. It removes any barriers to journaling on a busy day. I start each book with a few reference pages, a gratitude page that I can add throughout the year, my goals and intentions for those six months, my family budget, and a list of what bills are paid when. I have a six month at a glance page where I write key events that happen, and then I set up my monthly pages. It has the days of the month, which is just another spot I can add key events, a visual to-do column, goals, and then my YouTube summary for the month. My weekly pages are set up with five vertical columns to journal Monday through Friday, and two horizontal columns for Saturday and Sunday. I add a very basic tracker for my six habits that I like to stick to Monday to Friday. These include journaling, working out, drinking two liters of water, reading, not drinking any alcohol and spending no money. 
I add a small circle to each of the weekdays so that when that day comes, it takes less than a minute to fill out. I leave a couple of pages blank for various notes that may come up. And then I move on to the next month. It takes me about an hour to set up the entire journal. So I like to do this on a day like today where there just isn't a rush. And to be honest, I've always loved setting up and planning my journal. Doing this task doesn't feel like a chore. Rather, it's something that I'm grateful that I have the luxury of time to do. And now it's time to relax. Have a cup of mint tea, veg out, and do nothing. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and maybe finding some inspiration. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.